Alrighty. I'm back after a week. Haven't played Adom at all, but looking forward to continuing this. Hoping I don't get any uh, horrible misfortune. With Adom, you never know. So I need to reacquaint myself again with what my character has been up to. So I'm neutral plus. I remember. I think that was because of the. Yeah, I finished the puppy quest, right? So. Yeah. And then there were some blink dogs I was able to find, so maybe I'll be able to, um... Yeah, I, I have to keep farming them, unfortunately, because I still don't have teleport control, but I do have the teleport spell, which is really, really good. So... And where am I right now? Druid dungeon. Okay, so I think my plan was to just do most of the druid dungeon, and then maybe come back up and re-enter the puppy cave, check on the blink dog situation. So, yeah, and I, I really doubt I'll fight Keith Rex because the character's doing pretty well, but I don't think he's doing that well that I could take on Keith Rex right now because I still have the, uh, their pyramid and stuff too to do. So, I think I'll probably do the pyramid before I do that just to be safe because the pyramid is a lot easier. So, especially if I get burning hands, then it'll be really, really easy. So. Here's hoping that I get that. So teleport control, burning hands, would be really, really good to have. If I get teleport control, then I can definitely attempt to fight Keith Rex. And I gotta get a higher strength as well, because... How am I? I'm carrying 2,500 stones, which is... That's really not... It's really not that much. And I can't even carry that much. This is too much. Stone scroll of identify. Mm. Okay. Because, <clears throat> I mean, there's a decent chance I'll have a potion of strength. Or at least a potion of potential strength somewhere. In my inventory, so... I'm able to make that work. It's one of those uh, room properties, I don't remember what it does. I'm almost certain it has something to do with like food. Um, and I'm not just guessing that, but I remember it has something to do with that. Maybe food, maybe like food is more nourishing or something. Like it gives you more satiation if you eat in that room. I'm pretty sure, something like that. Okay, I'm still satiated, I got a good amount of food. I'll just play really safe. And Stay bloated. Although that does make me really, really slow. So I have to be aware of that too. Because I'm at 90 speed right now, so... It's pretty slow. Oh, that was good. Two shot the troll. Elven bread. That's good. Short bow. Eh, probably don't need that. I think I'm good. I mean, I do only have one bow, which could totally explode from like a fire trap, but... I don't want to carry on too much stuff, honestly. It's not like a huge priority. Slings are at four. Bows are at zero. Oh, I, d I totally forgot. Well, I did just pick up some arrows, so I can use the bow at least for a little bit. Okay. I'm hoping these are regular arrows. Because that's what I, I really need, just like some stacks of regular arrows. small stack, but I can train it a little bit with this much. Okay. One benefit of being an elf is I don't really have to worry about meleeing ghosts. It can get pretty tedious having to always, like, just kite them or use magic on them all the time. 
So we'll whittle down this clay golem. Okay. But yeah, I mean, I'm, cause I think I'm gray elf. Yeah, so I can live a really, really long time. So aging is not really much of a threat. Okay. I haven't really run out of arrows yet, which is cool. It'll probably take a while before I start doing like any real damage with the bow. Oh my god, so much web. Wow. <laughs> All the way down. It's webbed completely through. Okay, let's see. Oh, more web in here too. Painful stream of energy. Oh, it's probably Dark Elf Priest or something, huh? That's my guess. Yep. Or wizard in this case. It's a cat, it's fine. I'm gonna ignore the cat for now. Just try not to kill him. Because I don't think I've killed any cats yet, so. So much web. Oh my goodness. web on every score. <laughs> but at this point in the game, it's like, it's mi it's just a mild inconvenience. It's not really threatening at all. It's just kind of annoying. Oh, whoops. <laughs> that was mistake. <laughs> I stabbed that cat in the gut on accident. <laughs> so what I can do with him? Hmm. Just slow him. Just get out, yep. Oh, okay. Definitely might come back. Alright. Level 5. So I think the boss is on like 7 or 8 or something. There'll be like some messages <gasps> indicating, so I'll know. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to try to fight him. Not yet. Let's read this. Alrighty. Okay, so this is a, a cavernous level, I guess. I don't remember if this is like a guaranteed one or if it's just a. Oh shit. No frostbolt? No, I don't have Frostbolt. I'm just gonna have to eat it. Oh, I don't like this. I really don't like it. I gotta find the stairs, dude. Oh, shh. It's a little intimidating right now. I guess I might build a magic missile to Vortex. Maybe. Okay, I do have Ice Ball as well, but that's a lot of mana. Oof. Oh, fuck. You know what else? Something I'm, I'm really dumb. But I realized I'm, I just now realized that I'm on D6, I'm not on Druid Dungeon. I'm on. I'm in the Caverns of Chaos right now, and I'm in the big room. That's what that message was. Yeah, I totally spaced out on that. Nice. Okay, that went well. So I just gotta find the stairs. I really gotta find the fucking stairs. Oh my god, dude! I get surrounded really quickly. Christ, dude. <laughs> I can't even get any breathing room. <laughs> but to sleep. <clears throat> A little bit rough. None of these enemies are too threatening, but still. Don't want to get disarmed here. I might as well just clear out the whole room. Ah, oh, fucking 
Blizzard. I'll just do an Ice Ball. <clears throat> Alright, cool. Oh, this is actually a pretty good stairs, yeah. They're like really close to each other. So I might... Especially on a character like this, I definitely think I might want to herb farm. But if I do, I'll probably just do that off stream, because it's... <coughs> monstrously tedious and boring, but the reward is massive. Um, so I definitely might want to do that. But that wouldn't be like right away. That wouldn't be until later, so we'll see. If I do end up doing it, then it'll be... Um, yeah, I'll just do it off stream. I'll pacify this room by blocking off uh, the spawns with doors. And then I'll farm herbs for a while. Okay, bro. <laughs> School situation, not really necessary. Let's re equip the sword. The Golden Gladius. Well, when I get to Dwarf Town. Yeah. I'll use that for the tactic skill. Okay, let's see here. set or the clothes and drop those on the clothes and cooking set which I think is under tools yeah all right all right cool this room seems to be incredibly ancient mm, also don't know what that does it's also a pretty dumb description it's like I would imagine pretty much every room in this entire place is incredibly ancient. Although maybe those are just regular ancient. <laughs> and that first room is incredibly ancient, apart from that. But yeah, that probably has an effect. I'm not sure what it is though. Okay, so there's water on this level. That could be a problem if the stairs are on the other side of that. Hopefully not. Hmm. Could be a problem. I also don't have frost bolt, so I'm gonna just have to do random teleports to get across. All right. Yeah, I'll just do teleport. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, so it's not a ton of water, which is good. So the odds of me being able to cross over with a random teleport are are pretty good, I think. Stairs are definitely going to be here then. And so many spiders, just in the last like five minutes. Just run into a ton of spiders. Okay. Kind of OCD about this. I want to clear out all the webs now. Just knowing that the ground is covered in webs is annoying. Clear those out. Okay, so this is the C level. So I'm pretty sure that means Dwarf Town is the next one then. Pretty sure. Stone Snake. Oh, Quarrels. Oh god. <laughs> they go all the way back now. Get the Quarrels. Okay. Bows to level 1. Not bad. Might be hard to melee this dude. I just want a magic missile. Oh, he's gonna shrug it though. Okay, yeah. When it hits, it'll do a lot, but he's gonna shrug it for sure. Yeah, this is about what I expected. <laughs> it's really hard to take golems with bolts. 
Oh my goodness, you're kidding me. He's gonna regenerate all that fucking health by the time I hit him. There we go. A lot of XP though. Okay. Oh wait, did I get those corals? I didn't get the corals. <laughs> I forgot that's what I was trying to get. There we go. Super long ass hallway, and then stairs immediately. <laughs> Okay, there's a C. Get a little bit of corruption. It's alright. Man. Yeah, I really want higher strength. Although, do I not have like a girdle of carrying with this character? I think I do. Rusty metal girdle. Yeah, I'll just do that. Because then I don't have to be, you know, doing the strength of Atlas constantly. I think that's better. And dead slaying arrows. Pick up all my arrows. Put on the ground. Let's see here. Some more arrows, that'd be perfect. Alright. So now I have the C. Yes, yeah, so I think the next level will be Dwarf Town, I'm pretty sure. Cat, of course. Mimic. Okay, I don't want to get confused and then accidentally kill the cat. Stun right, man. <laughs> I don't need stun right, come on. Not only do I, I'm pretty sure I already have it, but it's also just not that good. This little monster has been so good, though, for dealing with cats. Lock that. Buzzing sounds. Okay, so B level. So I guess not dwarf done yet. Maybe the next one then. You know, I'm gonna have to check really quick. Nice, I got the regen, the regen bonus. Um, one thing I want to check with the wiki is that I always forget. It. I'm always like misremember it by one level. Okay, so I'm still strained even with the girdle of carrying, huh? Damn, that's pretty bad. Well, I can bless it. I think that'll increase the. Uh, yeah, now I'm burdened. <sighs> that doesn't even help me though. I guess it's fine. I'll just be burdened. It's all right. Um, is I always forget, oh, Firebolt, that's actually, that's really, really good, because I was getting really low on Firebolt, but I'd love to have Frostbolt, too. Um, let's read this first. Wow, a lot of reads for that. Wow, that's really good. I'm pretty sure I had, like, 300-something before that. I think I got over a thousand cast points for that. That's amazing. Really low on arrows now. Two handed sword. Gotta keep training the bow. So, what I want to check is that I think on the pyramid, I always forget the cutoff if it's level 15 or 16. If it's 15, then I gotta go to the pyramid like now, basically, because the door will be closed really soon, because I'm gonna hit level 16 pretty soon, so. I'm gonna have to pause really quick and check that. Um, yeah. Always forget that. Like, I know it's 15 or 16. 100% I know that, but... I'm not that great at remembering. So let's see here. <clears throat> so, pyramid. Sixteen, yeah. yeah. 
That's right. Okay. So we're good. It's perfect, so I can, I can level again before I even have to go to the pyramid. I'm just gonna clear this beehive so I can get some beeswax. Get some XP from killing the queen bee. Try to do it quickly. I know it can be a little bit boring. Poison resistance should be fine. Okay. Keep going. <laughs> Master Swordsman, huh? How about Ice Wall? Oh, that's pretty good. There we go. There's my sword, there we go. See a more hammer, I think that is, but I think I'm fine. Gloves and a two ended sword, that was from the other room. Listen again. There we go. So many bees. Okay. Oh, poison hasn't worn off. There we go. Oh, here's the queen. Okay, good. That's done now. And the beeswax. Perfect. I can explore the rest of the level before I continue down. Pretty sure it'll be dwarfed down next. I think I'm down on yeah, this is what's so annoying about training ranged. I understand why you can't, but if there's a way to like combine arrow stacks or something, like if they're, <clears throat> so as far as I know the reason, I think it's like, you know, you can't, you couldn't combine like a stack of like mithril arrows and adamantium arrows or something like that. They have to be like the same kind of arrow. But unfortunately, because there's so many different like randomized stats and things like that you can have on um, missiles, it's like I could very well have like five different stacks of generic arrows, but one of them is a plus zero 1d6, one of them is a plus two 1d6, stuff like that. But I feel like in this case they're the same, you know, they're all generic arrows. So even though they might not have the exact same hit property, right? A little more to hit or a little bit less. I should be able to like stack them or something. But I, I kinda understand why you can't, but it's just like, you know, it's pretty inconvenient. It gets really tedious having to just manage arrow stacks all the time. So I, I did notice that I found a vibrating ring. Um, if I'm not mistaken, that that's one of the materials for rings that can be a uh, ring of genie summoning. So, I'd love to identify that, because it definitely might be one, and then I'd have a wish on my hands. So, I don't have a solution to that. I mean, maybe the uh, maybe the dwarf town shop will have a scroll of identify or something. I feel excited. Vault, wow. Still in the dwarf town, but a vault. That's pretty, pretty awesome. Undead vault, too. So, it won't be too hard. I'll save the undead sling arrows. So, I think I'm. I should just... Train a different ranged, maybe, and just burn like all my ammo. Because these are pretty wimpy enemies, so I might as well just train ranged with it. I think that's a good idea. Okay, I'm, yeah, I'm kind of out of corals as well. These regular corals? Yeah, so. Okay, let's do that then. Oh, what a pain. These regular? Yeah. Okay, out of ammo. I switch to the sling. Get some fucking rocks. I have a pretty ridiculous amount of rocks, so I'm gonna get really good at the sling. It's pretty tedious, but luckily I can just mash T and because I have so many rocks. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Pick up all this shit. Cool. I think I can just stay berserk. Especially if it's not ghouls. I can't get paralyzed or any status effect from these guys, so... Pretty non-threatening. Just hit him with my sling. Perfect. Two more rings. A lot... Getting a lot of items I'd love to identify. <clears throat> get really good at the sling from this. It's a little tedious, I understand, but... It'd be either this or trading the sword, so... Scimitar 40 stones? 
Might just be a regular scimitar then. <clears throat> okay, I'm strained. Unfortunately, my max strength is. potential strength is 14, so. I can't gain anymore. Okay. It's just regular gloves? Yeah. As far as I know, they're just regular gloves, so I'm not gonna pick them up. It's more rocks! <laughs> Burn through all my rocks pretty quickly here. Level 5. I honestly think, probably in all the time I've played this game, I think it's unlikely I've ever gotten to level 5 with slings, specifically, because it's like... It rarely comes up. I don't use it very often. I pretty much am always using either bows or crossbows, if I'm using anything ranged. Um, or I'm just even throwing rocks, because all my slings get destroyed or something. But level 5, that's pretty awesome. I'm going to read this spell book, because it's a new spell, so could be something good. Magic lock, ugh. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I mean, this happens really often in this game, but it's like, I am finding a great amount of spellbooks because I have Treasure Hunter. I think I have Treasure Hunter. But, yeah. So, I find a ton of awesome loot, but, you know, there's a lot of, I guess you could say, it's just a lot of quantity over quality in this game, which is still good, but it's like, you know, most of the spellbooks I find are just more utility spells that I don't really need. So... Karmic? Yep. Hmm, still not quite good enough with AI. <laughs> like, well, yeah, I don't want to risk him hurting me at all. Oh my god, yeah. I almost did the wrong spell. That's another thing I need to get used to is, you know, every time I learn a new spell, I have to remember to not autopilot when I cast, because the letter for each of your spells moves, so. There we go, we're good. Spell book? Ah, oh, magic lock. <laughs> Two for magic lock in a row, huh? Okay. Jade ring, interesting. Did this lead to the vault as well? Nice. Okay. Come on, there we go. Water potion, that's good. Mash T, rapidly. Rapid fire slingshot, point blank range, pretty weird. Okay. Great axe. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not that scared of a ghoul right now, so I'm just gonna risk it. Just for the sake of brevity. This will take forever otherwise. Let's do red gauntlets. I imagine Warhammer. I guess I can pick up the weapons because I can just sacrifice them. Or sell them. I think that'll be fine. Pop off. Here we go. Fast. New spell book. Train that sling. God. Wow. Oh. Okay. I actually ran out, dude. That stack was what? 60, 70 something rocks? Oh. Keep going. <sighs> Stack's about to run out. Yep. Seven more. Ooh, ten corals. Awesome, see? Perfect. That's really good. Overburdened, of course. Ah, <sighs> damn. Alright, well, gotta do it. Oh, it's because I'm super hungry, okay. Let's eat. Oh, yeah, I got a ton of food. Alright. Spoke of darkness. Two blessed rocks. <laughs> oh my god, so many zombies. Alright. 
Regular medium shield. Levels from that. That's awesome. Nice. Herbalism 100. I can get listening 100 as well. Still, eventual dodge. Mm, I guess haggling. Ah, alchemy too. Alchemy is another one I wanna. Mm, I'm really not sure what that message means. That could be a little bit scary. I'm gonna sword these guys because I don't wanna get stat drained. I don't wanna risk it. And I just got slings to 6 2, which is awesome. <sighs> yeah, I really don't know what that message means. Anyways, what I was saying about the level up is that, um. I've never really made use of the alchemy skill, and I feel like maybe it'd be cool because I could make some awesome potions. I guess I always thought it was just too much work, I was too lazy to worry about it, but I'll level it and use it. Because I always level it, but then I just don't touch it at all. It's like, I should I should try to use it. For sure, I think. I'll just mail the ghosts. Same thing, don't want to risk it. Like, while I am, you could almost say, immune to aging in a way. There's no reason to needlessly get aged, so I'll try to kill the ghost quickly. Oh, and chainmail. Okay. That could be pretty good. Good jelly. Okay. Hopefully there's not a hundred of those further down the hall. Ton of shadows. Open to not get stat drained here. Using pissing miracles. Oh shit! Something invisible here. Oh man. Gotta be a little bit careful here. Looks like it's all clear. This is the Papyrus Scroll. Yep. We got. Oof, wow. Two of them are spells I already know, unfortunately. It's this one. Calm Monster. Yep. That's what I was talking about. Just the kind of useless utility spells, you know? Oh well. It's definitely better to have it and uh, not need it. Okay. So. Where's. Wait. Did I not find it downstairs? Oh, I guess it's up here. I didn't even explore that part yet. There we go. Cool. Dwarf Town. There we go. Finally made it. What do we got? Brass Bracer is useless. Darkness, useless. Ooh. Tardamantium shield? Is it mine? Mine's crystal, right? 13-4. Oh, wow. It's it's of a comparable stat line. <sighs> hmm. Short bow of accuracy, that's pretty awesome. It's also quite cheap. With those scimitar, 1d8 plus 6 scimitar. And I got a 1d6 plus 7. <sighs> I guess the 1d6 plus 7 is a little bit better. It's pretty close. So 1d8 plus 6, so what is it? 14, uh, 14 damage max. Okay. So, it's got a 14 damage max, 1d8 plus 6, but <laughs> greater variance on the minimum damage. A lower minimum damage, a higher max, but it's only higher by 1, and the Rapier gives 1 deviant PV, so I think the Rapier is still overall better. Potion of Water, gotta take that. Mm, I don't... That's a... Pretty fucking incredible crossbow, but it's a little pricey. Hmm, I do have 13k gold. That's a tough call. Short bow of accuracy. See, the short bow, obviously, it's not as badass as this crossbow, but 681. The melee weapon is not really the issue, though. It's just I don't have missiles to shoot. That's the real issue. Hmm. 
think I'll wait. I think I'll not buy it. Yeah, I think I'll be okay without it for now. Let's see here, what do we got? So, gotta identify everything first. So we got seven holy waters now. Um, man, dude, a scroll of identify would be so good right now. Damn. I'm almost certain I have one. Oh well. Oh, <laughs> climbing set just on the floor, that's awesome. I'm very happy to have that. You know what I can do is actually I can, uh, what I usually do, I make a door here. Oh, because I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what any of my wands are. I'd love to just try to read a scroll, but I don't know. I could lose something really valuable by doing that. Man, if I teleport control too, I could visit the door of a mystic. Okay, Golden Gladius first. Let's deal with that first. So, that'll be over here. Let's deal with that first. Where is that thing? Refuses to take it. Oh, oh, do I have to? Oh, there we go. So you don't actually... Okay, cool. Nice. And we've got tactics now. Got the tactics skill. Let's see. Let's talk to him. Don't want to learn smithing, but you can unrest this girdle for me. It's super cheap. And then for Griff... Is that his name, Griff? The stat trainer? Garth. Not Griff. Hold up. Yeah, I actually don't... Yeah, I can't do strength, unfortunately, because of the potential. I could do, like, toughness, maybe. That could be good. Train up some toughness. I guess I could do it. I'll do it. Do 5k. Okay. Let's get the quests going. Troll Berserker. That's a decently common enemy, so that's good. So I'm going to have to hit up the altar. I'm going to go to the bathroom really quick. And then we're going to do the altar and then figure out what we're doing next. I'll be right back.
Alrighty, and we're back. Thanks for waiting. So, the plan here, I'm gonna do the pyramid really, really soon. That'll probably be the next big thing I do, but first, see what we got in the inventory. Cursed, uncursed, all that. We got elven chainmail to try on. Let me get off the altar. Elven chainmail. Fantastic. That's really, really good. No minuses, better armor, and it weighs a lot less. It's a 25th of the weight, which is awesome. So, I'll get rid of the other one. I finally have a helmet now. It's just a helmet of beauty, but it actually has some DV, which is fantastic. So that's really, really good. <sighs> Glass amulets. I think those are amulets of light, but I really don't remember. Really gotta identify my inventory. What else we got? Some gauntlets. Just regular. Um, cheap cloak. Cloak of defense. Fantastic. That's an upgrade. Got the mithril boots. Not as good as the gnomish boots, but a good backup to have. Warhammer, I'll just ditch the wall. I'll just sacrifice that. Well, I guess I can compare it to the other one I have. Adamantium. Weeping Adamantium Warhammer. Yeah, so I can get rid of that. I think we'll get rid of both Warhammers. I have a backup sword already, and I've pretty much gone in on swords. Gone all in on swords, so I think I'll... Yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. So the only thing is, depending on how things go later, I might get Big Punch. And uh, if I get Big Punch, then I might go back to Hammers, because Big Punch is really strong. But I have plenty of time to train Big Punch. I'm not in like, a huge rush or anything. So... Something I was realizing when I was in the bathroom is that I messed up a little bit because um, I forgot that there are multiple reasons to not finish the arena right away and to just do the first 19 fights and save the boss. And one of them is because I think, well, it's to avoid cats in general, right? But also because the boss can sometimes be pretty tough and you might not be strong enough to fight the boss even though you're strong enough for the first 19 fights of the arena. And so that's a major reason to avoid it. And I was confident, so I fought it. But the other big reason is because um, Thrundar gives you a quest to complete the arena. And so it's better to, if I remember this correctly, it's better to save doing that final arena fight and becoming the arena champion until you get that quest. Because if you don't, I'm pretty sure he just gives you another, you know, hunt this monster quest, which sometimes can take forever. And it could be like a, a rare enemy that's hard to find. So it can waste a lot of time, unfortunately. So I'm hoping that whatever he gives me isn't too rough in that regard. Two vibrating rings? Okay, there's no way it's a genie summoning ring. That would be crazy. There's no way I have two of those right now. I do not buy that. I guess I could just sacrifice my C's then. So, how many do I have? Yeah, only three. Okay. I'll do that. Alright. So, no potential strength, unfortunately. Yeah, man. Well, well, that's a shame. Girdle of Greed, short of accuracy. Okay. Okay then. Well, I guess I can do the pyramid now. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I'll just do that. Let's do that. Let's do the pyramid. I don't have uh, Burning Hands, but I do have Firebolt, and I have a lot of Firebolt, so I think it'll be okay. <sighs> and then probably what I'll do is after the Pyramid, I think that's when I'll revisit um, the Puppy Cave. Oh, Spellbook. Revisit the Puppy Cave, and then I'll see if I can get a Blink Dog Corpse. Slow Monster. Just getting a shitload of utility spells, unfortunately. Orc Butcher, that's a pretty rare enemy. That's stuff in the first one I fought. In this playthrough, at least. Okay, so. What missile or still sling? Yeah, I just really need arrows, man. Badly. I'll 
I'll just teleport him out. Another spell book. Oh my god, man. Just give me really useless stuff, unfortunately. Okay, he's back. Slow him. Another cat. Okay, man. So many. Why is he giving me so many cats? It's ridiculous. Alright. Let's read the spell book of Soul Monster. Yeah, way more casts of this spell than I will ever, ever, ever need. through so many rocks that I can start picking up rocks again. Got a teleport. <sighs> nice. Wow. Into the stair room, too. Awesome. <laughs> Big room. Oh my god, with the cats, man. I have to get them on the other side of me and then slow them. Really careful not to hit him because he's at like half health already. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I think Pyramid will probably be no big deal. The traps could be problematic, but other than that, I'm not too worried about it. I feel like it'll all be pretty easy to handle. Should I buy the food yet? Loaf of bread, three hearthling cakes, elven bread. Yeah, I'll just buy some Coke Lizard, just in case. Of course, there's another cat. It never ends with the cats. Ancient map forever. I think that's for that, uh, quest. That new quest or something. I have no plan on doing that, so. Got some quick lizard. Nope. What is that? Was it quick lizard? Good roach. This guy. Quick lizard. Okay, he has a lot. I'll buy like a hundred. Oh, fifty, never mind. Alright. Fifty, good enough. Slow monster. Okay. Only fifty. I'm sure there's another trader that's gonna be selling uh Cook Lizard, so. So, I'm pretty confident about the pyramid. Um, the only thing is, the final room could have some dirty enemies in there, but I'm pretty sure it won't be anything I can't handle, and I do have teleport and invisibility, so should probably be okay. Okay. Alright. Um, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. About as ready as I will be, so... Traps, though, can definitely <laughs> really mess you up. I'm pretty sure the first upstairs is on the left. This is another thing I usually forget, is if it's left or right on the first floor. Oh my god, the stone blocks, dude. The stone blocks are so scary. I do have cure light wounds, that's good. Not a lot of casts, unfortunately. That's a utility spell I'd love to get a ton of spell books for, or just get like a better, larger cure spell. Yeah, the stone blocks 
do just a giant chunk of damage, so. Yep, there's all the traps. Okay, it's going alright with the traps right now. No destroyed items yet or anything, which is really good. Oh, another rape here. Hmm. What kind? 30? Are they always 30? No. I think it's just a regular rapier then. It's public of light. Kind of useless. So many ja Why are there jackals in a pyramid? I don't understand why. And this is an enemy you always run into in the pyramid, but I really don't get why. It's kind of random. <laughs> like, I totally don't understand why. Okay, it looks like probably... Oh, God. I'm trapped. Where's the secret wall? There it is. Okay, so... Pretty sure it's on the right side, then. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. I'm out of balance. Not a big deal. The helmet, that's unfortunate, because that was pretty good. Started leather armor, that's not the one I was wearing, so... Could be a lot worse. And I have another amulet of balance, so... The traps are a huge pain in the ass. Okay, maybe this is where the stairs are then. Black ring. Okay. Horse pit. Ton of snakes. There we go. Dude, the stone block, I swear. Okay, water, yep, corruption. <sighs> that is really annoying. Alright. There's another amulet out. Oh, well, at least I went the right way. <clears throat> the fucking traps, man. I right, guess I don't have a... I think it's alertness helps you avoid. No, there's, there's a tra Oh, magic missile, nice. I think there is just an uh, avoid traps skill, so I don't have that. Or alertness. It's really annoying. So I'm gonna go to the right, because the right... I mean, I could just do it on the way down, I guess, but... Yeah, maybe I should, huh? Alright. So I'm pretty sure how it works. As you go to the right on... Curled Bracers. Hmm, hopefully that's a good one. On the right will be, um... It's like a climbing set. Like a blanket or something. I know that there's a climbing set. For sure. Maybe like a pickaxe is the other thing. Oh my god, this guy's tough. Oh my god. I can't even keep up with him, man. I can't even hit him. Yeah, I'm gonna have to just... Resort to a bit of magic here. And I guess they do shrug a bit. Okay. Okay, I'm pretty sure the stairs on the left again. <clears throat> Man, why is my melee sucking such a fat one right now? What is going on? Is my sword fucked up? No, it's the same. Hmm. Of course. More traps. Okay. Magic clock. Of course. Just what I need it. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I, what sucks is um, I fail to avoid the trap pretty much every time. It's kind of annoying. See? Yeah, I keep falling back in. It's pretty dumb. I'm really, really bad at uh, avoiding traps with this character, unfortunately. Is it here then? Where's the uh. Hmm. 
That's a little weird. I thought it was around here. It's not here. It's not here. Because I'm too far up right now. So maybe it's here then? Yeah, it's probably here. No? Damn. Am I missing something here? Maybe it really is just on the right. I always forget. I play the game just infrequently enough that even though I've played it a lot overall, it's like, I forget the little things like that throughout the playthrough. There's just so many things to remember in this game. <sighs> okay. Jesus, dude. Oh my god. It's not all fire traps, right? Okay. <laughs> Tons of corruption. Which really sucks. <sighs> okay. That's fine, that's fine. Okay, so it was on the right. Man, dude, what a pain. Okay. Oh! Really, dude? Honestly, can't tell you at all if this has happened or the last time. I can't remember. I got stat drained by a fucking ghost. Honestly, the mummy, I think, is maybe the least threatening thing that's going to be in the boss room. Now, if I had, um, Fireball or Burning Hands, then it would be like a joke. I only have Fire Bolt, but I'm pretty sure it'll be okay. He'll shrug some bolts, but he'll go down with like five or less bolts, probably. But the enemies around him are mainly what I'm worried about. I can't believe I got Strength Drained by a Ghost, though. That like I didn't even know they could do that shit. That never happens. I mean, my potential strength is the same, so it'll just pop back up to 14, I think, in a little bit. So, it's not that big a deal. Alright, so I'm going to see the strength of Atlas before I go in there. I think I'm about as ready as I can be for this guy, so... So what are you looking at here? Mm, Troll King, that's a little bit scary. Dark Elven Lord, not too bad. There's a lot of weak enemies here, actually. Skeletal Warriors have a ton of health. Dwarven Chaos Warriors, eh. So the scariest thing I would say is definitely the Troll King. But other than that, these guys are not that badass. So I'm going to go ahead... Pop an invisibility. Because I'll definitely stay invisible to at least a few of these dudes. The Troll King is my main... Oh, that's right. Yeah. The... Let's deal with the mummies. So I guess the Troll King can't see me, so that's really good to know. Take care of the regular mummies. Yeah, see, I really don't do good damage. It's a decent weapon, but I need something more beefy, you know? Yeah, I should probably just use magic for this dude. Could pop an acid ball. Oh yeah. That's really strong. It's very costly, but I think it's worth it. Okay, and then I can conserve mana for a bit now. Take care of Rehatep here. <laughs> oh my fucking god, dude. <laughs> One firebolt. Not only did he not shrug <laughs> any bolts, he died in one fucking firebolt. Yeah, so I still underestimated how wimpy he would be. That is hilarious. I've never killed him that easily before. I guess my firebolt was trained up quite a lot, so... And he failed to shrug it, so it fucking one-shot him. That's fantastic. That's so good. Yeah, that's kind of... Obviously, I didn't think it'd be that easy, but I knew that the enemies around him would be more threatening than him, so... That's pretty much what I expected. Oh, pickaxe. Nice. That's good. That'll be good to have. Then I'll pick up the extra climbing set on the way back down. I'll just clear the room get some XP. I guess I could put the strange mummy wrapping on. Or the ancient mummy wrapping. And the onk as well. I see the skeletal warriors are not that threatening, but they just have a shitload of health. <sighs> yeah, I'm just gonna... I don't want to risk him like, burning any of my gear. Okay. 
overall, very successful, pretty easy. Put me to sleep, whatever, poison, doesn't matter. Alright. <sighs> See the ancient mummy wrapping, how that compares to what I have right now? Okay, so it's slightly better armor, so. And immune to cold. So, I'll just keep that on. So now, I'm gonna have to get the, uh, the tools, which means I'm gonna have to walk over some more traps, so. Okay, so. What I don't remember though is if the, uh. The tools are on this level or the level below this one. I think they're on the one below. Pretty sure about that. Hmm. Varble. Okay, so I think it's on the one below this one then. I'm pretty sure. I just want to be a hundred percent sure. Because it might be on this level. It's actually good to stay burdened right now, because then I can uh Train it back up to 14 after that stat drain. I'm pretty sure Burden gets you to 14 strength, so. God damn, dude, I've fallen every bit. Kinda sucks. Oh, I think that's a higher metal cap. I think it's a mithril. Okay, so I'm gonna go back down a level. So the cap. Yep, it is mythical. It's cursed, but that's okay. Yeah, really would love an, a weapon upgrade. Lightning bolts. Okay, that's good. That's adamantium short sword. Probably won't be better than this, but. I could check it out. I mean, there's almost no way it's going to be better than this, though, unless it's statted insanely well. I'll just wait. Okay, please don't trigger the traps. Okay. <laughs> Higher metal. Let's see if I can't find the climbing set here. Definitely going to have to trigger a lot more traps, though. I don't know if you can eat a jackal wear, so I'm gonna wait on that. So many jackals. Four arrows, alright, I'll take it. Take what I can get. Here's the traps. Wow, all those missed. Alright. Yeah, I think it's around here. Teleport trap, of course. I thought I knew this place pretty well, but I guess I'd forgotten the specifics. Yeah, I'm in teleport control. If I could have gotten it earlier, that would have been amazing. level or the one above, but I just... Oh, there it is. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of corruption. Pickaxe, climbing set. Alright. So, what sucks... I guess it's fine. Okay. Alright. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of corruption. That's gonna be a huge pain in the ass later. Why is it doing that sound effect? Hmm. Okay. 
Well, that's done, which is good. What should I do now? Hmm. So, I could just do the, uh... Griff Blood Axe area right now, but... Mm, I could hit up Dwarf Town once before I do that. <laughs> or I could go look for a Blink Dog corpse. Because I do want to do that. Just all this stuff takes a lot of time, so I don't want to waste a ton of time just traveling. I think I'll try to do the Blink Dog corpse right now. I'll do that. Yeah, let's do that. Oh yeah, it's Curse, that's right. Um, I think I've removed Curse spell, right? Yep, perfect. Also, alchemy I do have as well. What can I make? Potion of... Uh, I can make potions of booze, that's pretty awesome. Pepper petals. That's good to know. So I really am going to want to hit up the herbalism then. And like try to take advantage of that. Potion of youth, eh. Potion of deafness, eh. Longevity. The booze, though, that's really, really good, so... I'll keep that in mind. I remember I found some bracers? Oh, okay, not really. Not very good. Across the water. Oh, yep, yeah, of course, I'm overburdened. Put everything back on. I guess I can try any weapons I want because I have... Oh my god, what the hell? I've never seen a dagger that fucking insane. <laughs> Wait, it's actually really strong. Because... Plus 11? 3d4, so the max damage is 23. When the minimum damage is... Like, 14? It's actually really strong. <laughs> I've never seen a dagger that powerful before. It's actually way stronger. It's significantly stronger than my sword. Wow. That's crazy. Unfortunately, daggers are separate from swords, so I'm not as experienced, but... I mean, that's so good. I think I'm just gonna have to use that. But I can still check out the other weapons, just to see what they got. What stats do they have? That's awesome, though. Okay, totally regular rape here. That's what I expected. Mace, adamantium mace, normal, good stats. Short sword, totally regular. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna use this dagger, dude. It's really, really good. That's awesome. Okay. Man, what are these rings? I just have no idea. A lot of time passes when you travel here. Let's get to the puppy cave quickly. Strength is still 13, unfortunately. That sucks. Let's see if I can't train another ranged weapon. Kind of doing everything on the sling. Yeah, so a stack of 10 corals, that's awesome, yeah. Strength of Atlas. Man, even with a blessed girdle of carrying, I still am strained unless I use Strength of Atlas. That really sucks. Oh, I forgot there's an altar here too. Okay. Ton of holy water. That's cool. Um, hmm. Anything I want to get rid of? Like a weapon, maybe? Braces of boxing? Nope. Um, I'm down to very pleased. I lost a piety level. 
Okay. Give him some weapons. Still just very pleased. How many C's I got? Three blessed ones, four uncursed ones. Okay. Gotta get that piety level back up. Back up to inner peace. I got 10k gold. Not a ton. Alright. So, open for the blink dog. I don't even remember what level they're on, so I'm gonna have to figure that out. Because I don't remember at all. Oh my god. How many Castle Light do I have, honestly? 1800. Let's see how many I gain when it's this, like, when I have this many. Twenty-one hundred. Wow. Where's the blink dog? Excuse me. Troll Berserker. Okay, so regular troll will not do it, unfortunately. Dude, where's the blink dogs? I think there's one on the cavernous level. Oh no, I killed one. One of them I eliminated. Yeah, this might be a lost cause, unfortunately. I also just don't really remember. Might have been on this level, but problems I don't remember. Damn, dude. Yeah, I, I honestly just, I really don't remember. Hmm. Yeah. I'm sure it wasn't here. Unfortunately, this might be lost cause then. It's been so long that, like, there might be nothing left. Another spellbook of light, dude. Oh, I guess I'll read this book. Don't know where the blink dog's at. Oh, dude. It's still just the one, though. He might not be making any more blink dogs. Well, damn. Don't think there's a solution to that, really. Yeah. Well, that's a shame. Hopefully find some more later. Yeah, because I think just after a certain point, it, it, they stop replicating, and there's nothing you can do about it. So, pretty unfortunate. It'd be very nice to have teleport control. There's also the pool, but mm, the pool is really... <sighs> might be good to sip, but I'm so worried. So, the thing about the pool is... I guess I don't really have any intrinsics, besides... Well, I have, I think, poison resistance, and I don't have anything else. It might be just poison resistance right now. So it's maybe not the riskiest thing in the world right now to um, do a pool sip. Hmm. This could sabotage the entire playthrough, theoretically. <sighs> but at the same time, I don't know, it's such a boon if I get something good. Hmm. of consideration. But honestly, it's like, usually when, whenever I've pool sipped, when it has been the worst, is when I wait till I'm quite far in the playthrough, and then a pool sip takes away all these amazing intrinsics I have. Whereas right now, I don't think I have anything super crucial, so it's like, I think it would be fine. I think it's worth trying. I think it's worth trying. Hmm. Okay. I think I'm gonna have to do it. Okay. Well. And then I guess if I get anything really horrible, I might just stop. Oh, that's true. I could get doomed. <laughs> oh, yeah, I hadn't thought about that. And that happens all the time. Hmm. I mean, I do have the Onk, which helps. Lucky and Fate Smiles. 
I'm not at a super high piety level, so the thing is... Hmm. Ah, dude. That's the thing. Cursed or Doomed would be pretty bad. It wouldn't necessarily ruin the entire game. But, <clears throat> don't have super high piety right now, so it's like... I don't have a lot of gold, really. Hmm. But, it could also be really good. I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna give it a shot. Outfit looks much cleaner. Uh, is that appearance? Or is that just a... Didn't do anything? Your outfit looks cleaner. <laughs> oh, no kidding. Hold on. Am I invisible? Okay, so according to the wiki here, it says that that message means you've lost permanent invisibility. But I don't think I had permanent invisibility. But it does say it could mean no effect. I, I guess it was nothing. That's pretty funny. Alright, let's do it again. Nothing happens. Oh man, it's freaking me out a little bit. Alright, well, it ended up being nothing. Could have been much worse. Could have been much, much worse. So I think all all the messages were nothing. Basically what I was hoping for is obviously either a wish or like um some teleport control, you know, would have been incredible. I'm just gonna dump all my gold here. I just want a ton of piety. And that pulled me back to true neutral, which is awesome. Still just inner peace though. Hopefully I'm on the higher end of inner peace now, maybe. Well, so now I can either do could do the Griff Blood Axe quest. I could try Keithrax. <sighs> Which is harder right now. I guess Keithrax is probably still harder. Hmm. But I probably want to do one of them before I head back to the caverns, because it'd be a waste of a huge trip. <sighs> I could just acid ball Keithrax into Oblivion, potentially. It does require me to be right next to him, which is a little bit scary, but other than that... Hmm, I think I can handle him. I'm pretty confident I can handle him. Yeah, because I mean... <laughs> There probably will be a ton of cats, too. And considering I don't think I've killed any, I want to maintain that. But, we have Acid Ball, and he's vulnerable to Acid, so... I think I'll be able to handle him. Even though I don't have Teleport Control, I could always try to just teleport if it starts getting dicey. Alrighty then. Yeah, honestly, teleport control is the only, um, besides just general, you know, if I could be, like, immune to acid or immune to cold or whatever, naturally, having elemental immunity. But, outside of that, it's, like, just teleport control. That's the big one I still need. The rest is going pretty well. This dungeon, from what I remember when I do it, is generally pretty easy. It's just that Keithrax is super badass. But the dungeon is 
You wouldn't think from the dungeon. It's really not that bad. Nice. I have flint and steel now. That's awesome. Yeah, this dagger is so good, dude. It's so good. I'm pretty happy I found it. Never seen a dagger this strong before. Nice. Another altar. Wow, that's awesome. Oh, sacrifice the seas. I think there might be a point where the god gets like tired of you giving him seas. So I have to watch out for that. Three uncursed strange items, one cursed strange item. Alright. Just need to identify my inventory. That's all I need right now. Okay. Very painless so far. Oh, the special bolts, huh? Undead slaying, of course. <laughs> Damn. Regular troll. Mm. It's teasing me. I need a troll berserker. Right? Yeah, troll berserker. Okay. Okay. Where are those downstairs? There we go. Might have to go back to the sling soon. One coral. Hmm. Yeah, that's probably need more carry capacity. If I don't already have it, I might take Master Packager. Do I have it? No, I don't have a Porter even. That would help a lot. I think I'm gonna have to take that then. I don't know if I picked up any more arrows since last time. Another climbing set, okay. Did I pick up any arrows? Ten of undead thing. <sighs> One arrow and then four. I guess I can use that. The game is really skimping out with me on the uh, arrows and corals. Pretty annoying. Okay. Eternium arrows. Wow. I probably want to save that, because it's Eternium. Yeah, I don't want those to get consumed. I'm going to have to wait. That's amazing, though. That's super, super good to have. Okay. New spell book. I'm praying, man, that it's uh, <laughs> not just another utility spell. 
Burning hands, that's amazing. Perfect. That's perfect. Regular troll again. Damn it. Just need a troll berserker. Burning hands got 1200. That's incredible. Yeah, I mean, 24 learning really pays off. I never read so many spell books, so that's really, really good. Another fantastic offensive spell. So all I'm lacking of, like, the normal offensive spells now is, um... Frostbolt and Acid Bolt. And Acid Bolt you never really need, but... I think it's just those two. Yep. Of, like, the normal offensive spells. Those are the only ones I don't have. That's awesome. And then the rest of the ball spells, of course. I also don't have magic map, that'd be nice to have. Yeah, that'd be cool. I'm gonna do my very best to not kill any cats when I'm fighting Keithrax. Extension room. No problem. Nice. Uh, alchemy backstabbing. Both of those would be good. Yeah. Tactics, definitely. Let's do alchemy backstabbing then. What? Herbalism? Oh, that's max, yeah. Cool. Yeah, I might herb farm when I go back to the COC. And that'll help with alchemy recipes as well, so. Ooh, potion of extra healing. Potion of cure poison, potion of invisibility. Mm. Okay. Potion of insight. Interesting. Okay. Cool. Well, I'll try to remember that. I'll try making some potions for the first time. That'd be awesome. Alrighty. A blink dog. Alright. This is a sign. I'm praying, man. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna kick him. One kick. Make him hostile. I'm true neutral. Might lose some alignment here. Unfortunately, I met him in a giant ass hallway, but... Bring him over. Good. Okay. Please give me a corpse. I'm begging you, game. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude. It's like lucky and then not lucky, huh? Let's eat this fucker. Alright. Well, and that is that. And it's settled. And I kill them all. One cloak. Oh, it's really crappy, actually. Alright, well, we got that teleport control. Now we're set, dude. We're gonna be able to save a lot of time traveling through the Caverns of Chaos as well. I won't have to uh, walk to all the stairs now, which is really, really good. Yep, that's awesome. Let's berserk through these dudes. Get those weapon marks. Okay. Uh, cool. Man. The f I mean, yeah, the first blink dog I killed dropped the corpse. The first one, literally. Pretty hilarious. I can just teleport, actually. Eight quarrels, nice. That's so good. Mm. Alright. Okay, this is it. So, gotta watch out for cats. Got a torch going. Let's get a new torch going. I'm pretty sure his darkness spell will just overpower the torch anyways, but I'm trying best with acid ball. Do I have any scrolls of power for mana refill? I probably do, but I don't know what the fuck any of my scrolls are. Gotta find Keith Rex, try to kill him quickly. Get the black torque and get out. There's a cat in here. Oh, I just killed the cat, dude. I wasn't paying attention. Well, I'll try to still not kill more, but that's that. That's that door closed. Damn. That's the thing, man. 
it's a <laughs> well, it's 75% of the time you kill a cat, it's an accident. It's just so hard to keep track of. God damn it. There's another one. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try to not kill more though. I don't want to beef up the cat lord right now. Um, let's just try to move around him here. Let me get rid of the spider web. Let's eat that. Where is Keith Rex at? Can I calm him? Maybe? Do I have calm monster? I do. It's pretty hard to make it work. Yeah, I'm not gonna oist the mana. I'm just gonna have to deal. And if things get really dicey, I'll just teleport out. Where the hell is Keith Rex? He's gotta be nearby. Oh my god. Look how many. Wow. You know, I could get this slug maybe to kill the cat. Let's do this. Slow monster. Can I line these guys up? <laughs> I'm trying, man. I can't line them up. It's fine. He's slowed. Close and lock. Drink the atlas. All right. Where the hell is Keith Rex? I mean, he's really hiding in the back, huh? <laughs> like, seriously, man. There you are. And of course there's a cat in the way, man. Gotta get Keith Rex up to this corner. Ah, two cats. Two cats. Fuck. Let's go this way. See if this leads to a big room, maybe. There's always a shitload of cats around him. It's super annoying. Okay, it leads to this room. I want to lock the cats in, but the thing is... Hmm, I just have a cat room. I'm 99% sure there's just going to be more cats, but I gotta try. Okay, let's go. Let's, let's corral all the cats in here. I'm going to slow all of them. <laughs> I don't know how effective this is going to be, but... I think there's a really good chance there's just more cats, but I gotta try. Okay, a ton of web. Need to get next to Keith Rex and acid ball him into oblivion. Another cat. Fuck me, man. Well. <sighs> oh, shit, yeah. He does have, like, the mind attack or whatever. I can't acid ball if there's a cat next to me, dude. Fuck. Okay. I have to teleport the fucking cat away, dude. A waste of mana. Alright, here we go. Okay, it fucked him up pretty good. But he keeps healing himself. Fantastic. That's really good. And that was actually my last... <laughs> the last time I could cast it, too. Oh my god, okay. Gotta take the corpse, too. Just a wand, huge bat corpse. I'm gonna eat that. So, I'm gonna bless the corpse just so it doesn't rot away, so that I can get a, a potion of cure corruption from the druid in Turinio. So, let's dip the corpse here. Perfect. Let's do it. Let's get out of here. Once I have enough mana, I'll teleport out, just to save time. Teleportation's at 25. Perfect. Let my mana regenerate here. How's the corpse doing? Corpse is doing good. Keep teleporting. Yeah, that's a lot of distance to cover. Where's... Where's the upstairs? Is it up there? Yeah, I guess it is. Right? No? Oh, it must be in the other room. Okay, gotta teleport. Can't afford to let the corpse rot. Hmm. 
I'll sacrifice the Black Torque. I don't think I need it. Need a lot of uh, piety for it too. It's virtually invincible. I like that. Um, okay. Let's teleport again. Okay, I don't have a ton of casts, so... In general, I can't be that liberal with teleport. Nice. It stayed blessed, too, so the food didn't even really degrade. Okay, let's give him this corpse. Okay, just chill. Nice. We made it. Gonna get that awesome potion. That's where he... Yeah, there we go. So it's the Misty Potion. I'll keep that in mind. Alright. Well, that went super, super well. I honestly don't know exactly what I would have done if I completely ran out of mana, because... Yeah, that's that's just scary to think, because that was my last Acid Ball cast before I was out of mana, and I didn't have any uh, Scrolls of Power or anything. So I'd have had to resort to melee, which means he'd probably just keep healing himself, and then I'd get really fucked up. Neutral plus again, by the way, so... If I can get some piety to bring that down. Alright. Well, that's good. I might just call it here for the time being... Because what, what's next to do is going to be the graveyard. I do have holy water for him, so I can do that. I think I can handle the boss and have burning hands. Hmm, I think I could do this before I... I'll do this. I'm going to attempt this quest. And then I'll call it. I can train up my uh, sling for sure. Fight hundreds of enemies before you get down there, so. <sighs> okay, that's a lot, guys. Chill. Okay, I just realized they're resisting it. Not very smart. Florals, that's good. Train that up. What's my dagger's at? Five? I guess I can keep using the dagger to have it to at least where my sword is at. That's pretty important because I might be using this for a very long time. Tons of undead. New spell book. Another spell book. And it's the same spell book as the one I just picked up. Oh, that's. Wow, that's incredible. Two spell books of Frostbolt in a row. I'm really glad I came here. a scroll of peace on accident. Oh well. Frostbolt is at 1200. Awesome. 
Well, there's the other, uh, the other element. The only one they don't have now is acid. <laughs> oh my god, dude. That's exactly what I needed. Very, very lucky. <laughs> Teleportation is up to 1400. That's plenty. It's perfect. Another spellbook. What is going on, dude? It is just knock, but still. It's crazy. It's about four spellbooks just since I entered this one area. Pretty incredible, honestly. Halfway through this part. How many daggers at? Has it gone up yet? It's five. Pretty close to getting to six. Nice. That's good. I'm okay with that. Still need my inventory identified. Willow and bloated potion. Okay. So it really seems like what's going to happen, probably, unless I find something, but. Probably what's going to happen is I'll get to identify my inventory when um, I think Thrundar does it for one of the quests. He identifies your whole inventory, so that's coming up pretty soon, I guess, as long as I find that Troll Berserker. So many undead, man. Alright. Yeah, so I think for the uh, boss here, one level below this, pretty sure he's just vulnerable to fire, which is why he's so much easier than Keithrax. Um, so I'll put his burning hands him to death, and then pour the holy water, and then we should be good. And the golem, I think, will be fine as well. <clears throat> what kind of shield is that? Is an adamantium medium shield? I can, like, sell that or sacrifice it. Yeah, I'm really not, like, loaded on gold, so I can't build up, like, a ton of piety from that. Alright, just about done. Yep. Alrighty. I can go fight the boss. Perfect. Shouldn't be too bad. I think considering how hard Keithrax got wrecked, this should be only easier. I'll probably just go invisible too, because a lot of the enemies won't be able to see me. Okay. I still take a ton of damage from that. There we go. Here come the traps. I think we're getting close. That's the trap look I didn't destroy any of my gear. Oh my god, man. 
does worry me for the, the fate of this character that even these really basic traps are that threatening still. I really am not into that. That really sucks. in the health department, you know. <clears throat> is this it? Yeah, this is it. I'll pop the invis now. Let's see. I'm oh, burning hands this dude. Probably should have trained it a bit, but I don't think it'll matter. Yep, <laughs> two burning hands. Completely untrained burning hands, by the way. Okay, so for Griff, I'll have to teleport. I want to holy water him. Be a little careful. Where is that grave? There it is. Alright, perfect. So, dump the holy water. Perfect. Now I'll work my way back. <laughs> and then clear out the enemies. And then I can fight the golem. And that will be done. <coughs> it's actually good on neutral plus, because now what I can do, if I have the tools for it. I can dig the grave up and get the uh, sort of non-ac, which is good. And that'll probably bring me to true neutral again. Train up the dagger. Oh my god. Yep, just keep coming. Keep them coming. Higher Metal Large Hammer, Bloody Potion, Strength of Atlas, that's good. I need more cast of that anyways, so I'm glad I found that. Nice, Higher Metal Corals. Okay, clean this up. Okay, now there's still a shitload of enemies. Girdle, so that's a girdle of strength. Eleven arrows, perfect. Proof that's a girdle of strength. And I'm using strength of Atlas anyway, so nice girdle of strength, perfect. Um, okay, let's clear it out. So I don't have a way to dig though. Can you take the ground with the pickaxe? You can. And now I'm true neutral. So we got the uh, sword. Another map fragment. We got this golem. Wreck the golem. Yeah, I can take a golem now. Yeah, no problem. Even in melee. I usually am not able to melee this dude, so that's awesome. And another frostbolt. There's the elemental gauntlets. Unfortunately, though, man, these studded gloves are really good. Actually, better stats than the... Studded gloves. Well, the studded gloves have better stats. Kind of, in terms of DV, but this is more PV. I guess that's alright. I'll use these. Yeah, Frostbolt is at... Yeah, 1200. If I read that spellbook of Frostbolt, it's not going to really do much for me. But I'll definitely read the Strength of Atlas one. Because I really depend on that spell. And I'll... With my next couple of perks, I'll probably do the, uh... Carry weight perks. Since my strength is really not going to get higher for a while. Yeah, that was insanely easy. So it was two untrained burning hands killed that boss. I think the Atlas is up to, yeah, 1200. I'll be set for a very long time now. That's two quests. Yeah, one trip. Take care of two quests. No problem. You know, I do have teleport control. Um, oh, I totally forgot about the Tome of Donors. I'm gonna have to hit that up too. If too many turns haven't passed already. But I can get it anyways, and maybe sell it. And the uh, Wand of Teleportation as well. I'm thinking if I should do that now. It's efficient to do that now. So probably what I'll do is stop here then. 
And then when I come back and play again, and I'm on day 30. That's not too bad. Day 30, and I'm going to basically be starting on the Elemental Temples now on day 30. That's pretty good, I would say. I haven't wasted too much time hopping around. Unfortunately, I might not want to pool sip um, when I get to Dark Forge because I have teleport control now, and losing that would be critical. The only way I would be willing to do it is if I found another Blink Dog corpse. So if I find another Blink Dog, I'll farm it. A decent amount. I won't do it, like, obsessively, but I'll farm it because if, if I get a corpse, I can drop it off in the Dwarftown shop, and then I can go pool sip. Because that's the only thing I'm really, really worried about losing. Which one is this? It's R4. Yeah, okay. So, okay. Another spell book. Anyways, um, so I think what I'll do... I'll stop here, because made a really good amount of progress. Took out two bosses. So that, that quest is completely done. You know what else? Oh, I have to do this now, actually. I totally forgot. Very stupid of me. I forgot to talk to, um, what's his name? The Druid. I totally forgot to turn in the Keithrax quest. Totally forgot. Knowledge or power. Knowledge... Let me think about this, actually. Because I already... I think power gives you Frostbolt spellbook and wand, which I already know that spell. But then I think the other one gives you herbalism, which I also already have. Oh yeah, gardening. I don't think I want to do gardening. Alright, yeah, I'll just do power. I think it's fine. So is that, I have two spellbooks of Frostbolt now, and I have a million casts of it already, which is pretty hilarious. Fair enough. Let's kill these dudes. So basically when I come back, what I'm going to think about is... Think about what I'm doing next in terms of like Tomb of the Hikings and some of the more mid to later game stuff. And then maybe doing the random dungeons, getting the Wand of Teleportation, and then maybe getting started on the Elemental Temples is, is the next thing. Because I pretty much am ready in most aspects, so. Let me save. That was a really good session overall, though. Um, I was a little worried about how those bosses were going to go, but it went super, super well, so I'm really happy about that. So, we'll definitely be coming back to that. I'll probably be streaming again before a week passes, since I start school next week, and I don't want to... I want to get another one in before I go back to school. So, and I really want to see where this Adam character can get to. So, it was a good time. Um, we'll be back really soon to do some more Adam. So, until next time.